Hey guys, what is up? My name is Alan! 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 It's been a while. Uh, yeah, I haven't done a video or a sim video in quite a while. So it's been great to get back on the sim again and do some videos for you guys. But uh, yeah, today I'm going to be checking out the new Drift Games Extreme Punch Down layout. And uh, yeah, this event's obviously coming up this weekend. A uh, new track layout around the Punch Down uh, venue. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out. So um, I thought I'd show you guys the layout very quickly uh, here on my sim and uh, using a one-to-one -one replica of my real car. So we have similar gearing and uh, similar tire sizes and stuff like that. So uh, overall the car is quite close. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since I've done the video. Um, obviously the setup has changed a small bit. As you can see, we have a, a new microphone. We have, uh, an extra few cameras which you'll see in a small bit. And uh, you might see you have a new new rim. <laughs> so yeah, quite a bit has changed. and. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the setup. Um, still, the, still the same old, same old, but uh, obviously a bit improved in this. So, um, yeah, let's hop into it. Let's check out this track layout and let's try and get some laps in before this weekend. So, as usual, we're here in the Project Academy S14. Uh, looks the same, it is the VDC Pro model, but under the hood is a roughly 600 horsepower 2JZ um, with the same 5 speed gearbox on the real car, the BMW 5 speed diesel gearbox. And um, yeah, other than that, it is pretty much exactly the same car. So, uh, yeah, obviously, to put this down layout this weekend, I had to make sure that the gearing is right. So, this is the main purpose of this video is to make sure that I test my gearing and um hope all is good there so yeah as you guys can see we have now a few extra cameras we actually have this camera up here behind me which was the steering wheel if i don't turn my head and lock it um, our foot camera but i think we have better lighting this time um i got a new uh lighting bar um got a new microphone we can now hear me better as you talk straight into it like asmr or something <laughs> and the other upgrade too is got this nice little steering rim our two inch dish Nice little setup, nice little rim, and uh, yeah, it's literally perfect for this setup. You know, I have opinions on putting uh, modified aftermarket wheels on devices like Postmaster 100. Uh, I might display that in another video. So far, so good setup, and uh, it seems to be all reliable so far. So I'm pretty, really, really happy with it. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into this. Let's try get a lap down. So I've already done a lap or two, just to make sure everything was all good. Done. Yeah, to the to point one, I'll to point two. Make sure we leave the line early. Join this line as we... Take three. Got an angle there. Two. The clip of us, fourth and fifth wall, as a final clip. I'm gonna take a midline here, push her all the way to the edge of the track, cross the line. Not a bad run. You might notice I actually start off in second gear, it's because the BMW gearbox uh, is a really, really short ratio gearbox, and because of that, starting in second gear. So it's great, it's only one gear change. Inner clip here again. Or the line right, or towards what? A little bit shallow on the line there. Full gas. Cross the line. Oh, 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 My left foot in there, I don't think I have the gearing for it, to be honest. Oh, rotated. Left foot here to make the car crab a small bit. Yeah, that's much better to that 50 point area there. 
I can't remember the numbers of any of these tipping points, I, I lose count very quickly. The finish is actually... But, I mean, you can kind of compare this uh, layout to Doniri in the sense... Kind of, it's a figure of eight. Um, but I think... I think it, it's a lot more technical than Doniri. In that sense, I think... I think I enjoy this level a little bit more than some of the others for sure. Oh, dropping a wheel there. Oh, I hit the wall. Okay, because I tapped the wall on the the point. Three there. I'm gonna clip those six, I think it is, or seven, I don't know what the point that is. I'm going to the double wall clip. Probably like there. Bad run. Well, it wasn't the greatest. I had to hesitate hugely on the first or second wall clip, which point three. You know, clipping point. F oh no, I got you clipping point four. Okay, to be fair. Transitioning to five, then it's in six, up to seven and eight, which is a double wall clip. They were they were pretty good actually. Finished off okay. All right, let's try this in. To point two, and go up on the transition abyss. Oh, be careful! We we'll have the gearing there to bend. Go a little later on the clip point there. See what brings us. Chal off the wall, unfortunately. So, try not to do that. Back. Fight on the inner there. I had to lift one to over to bring the car back up. Off the inner line. This track is tricky, really tricky. Try this again. Gotta go run in. I want to do like a nice station along the wall, but I don't think the run run up is actually long enough to be able to just just about getting the gear I need to be in before I actually. That's the better. Lose Callow on the angle. Position pass. Car runs. Boy. Fuck ass. Power to the inner clip of 6. Put the 7 and 8 on the ball. Here is the app. Starting in the chase lane. Listen. Perfect. Fine. Shift the car. Recognition. Oh. Right. So, well, I've just made a few setup changes there to try and get more side grip. Car. Car. At least I think my own. Fine. The ring car. Oh, back into in. <laughs> Put that one out. <laughs> Alright, so. Alrighty. Really need to get like a triple screen set up or a nice VR set up.
Alright, let's watch this from the third person view. So third gear initiates. Not too close to the wall, dropping a wheel over. We're going to transition aggressively here onto the next second wall. Could be a bit closer there. Could be close to that wall too, actually. Transitioning nicely, coming to the inner clip. 0.6. Lower off the gas as well, but to try and get a bit of traction. Through uh, 7 and 8 nicely there into 9. Even the outside line briefly to come back out. 10. Across the line. That was not a bad run. I think we do another one after. Like, even the start line second. Straight the third. Yeah. Transition nice. Yeah, that's way better. Kind of mixing it out there. Having to make it better quite a bit actually. Float nicely through into six. I think that's six. I think it is. Seven, eight, really nice. This is good. Angle up nicely into nine, I think it is. Leaving the outside line briefly. Going back out onto it here now through ten and across the line. I think we're doing, doing okay there. Well, that is for today, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know down below what you think like the new cam setup do you like this camera setup is it okay i don't know you tell me down below the microphone okay is it crap is it good i don't know you tell me down below um but yeah that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed and uh yeah talk to you guys soon red drift games extreme this weekend make sure you come and say hello we'll be on the track chilling having fun and um yeah time to pull some more bumpers off talk to you guys soon <laughs>